Hey everybody, my name is Carly Reena and I'm so excited to be about to teach you guys an upper body and abs workout which you can do just using your own body, you don't even need trainers. I hope you guys are having the most incredible day learning from some of the most inspiring people out there. It was a pleasure to join you guys last time and I'm so excited to be able to join you guys virtually this time. If you ever need more from me, don't forget to check me out at Carly Reena. I'm on Instagram, I'm on YouTube and I'm always doing a mixture of everything. But for now, let's get into this workout I hope you enjoy and I'll hopefully see you guys all very soon to begin you don't need shoes you don't need anything but yourself and it's pretty apartment friendly so we're gonna start for our warm-up with a reverse crunch so to do so I'm just gonna bring my timer down now reverse crunch looks like this we're gonna lay down lovely and flat we're gonna make sure that the gap between the mat and our back is reduced by tilting our hips under. Then we bring our hands above, our shoulders come off the mat, so it's not just your neck, and then we bring our legs here. Now then what you're gonna do is take your hands underneath your bum for a little bit of support, and you kind of rock. So it's like a rock and a back, rock. So you're really feeling a crunch from reverse. Instead of doing this, you're doing this. So it's just a light rock, because this is our warm up, just taking our legs up into the air. So you have 20 seconds of this. Let's go. So just a nice rock. All you have to feel is your bum coming off the mat. Now, if your neck hurts, guys, all you have to do is bring your shoulders further up off the mat. But if that's too much, you can also relax your head down. It doesn't matter too much with this one. But this should be warming you up. You've got five more seconds, and then we'll have a 10 second rest. Relax, and we will do that one again. It's such a good movement and a great way to get your body activated. So give yourself a couple of breathers. Three, two, shoulders come back up, hands come by your bum, and you're giving yourself that little rock. Really testing how far off you can lift your bum, how further forward you can bring your knees, just starting to wake everything up. Ooh. Three, two, and one. Beautiful, okay. I have everything that we're doing written up here, so I have to check each time because my brain is useless. So the next movement we're doing is a negative push-up. So for this, a lot of people when they do a push-up, they end up doing this. Now a push-up actually is all about your chest, less about your arms. So what you tend to do so if you put your hands in front of you, we're gonna do them on our knees, so no worries. And then walk your knees back a little bit and then drop your hips. So now you can kind of see I've got this straight angle. I can feel a bit of weight going across my hips. And then from here, we're just gonna slowly bring ourselves down to the mat. And then from here, we're gonna take our arms in front. We're gonna bring them back just by our shoulders. And we're gonna try and push ourselves up with our chest being the first thing to leave the ground, not our belly. So we push kind of through and we come up. So we're gonna do 20 seconds of those really, really slowly. Let's go. So drop your hips, feel the weight here. Let yourself come down as slowly as you can. Bring your hands forward, take it back and push back up. So in reality, your tummy doesn't really ever reach the floor. Push yourself back up. It's kind of your chest that does, but your tummy is always tight. Good, relax, 10 seconds, and we'll be doing it again. And then after this, we're gonna be doing one of my favorites, which is called the chameleon. You've probably seen it loads if you watch my channel. It's one of my favorite kind of stretches. So, hands out in front, drop your hips, bring yourself down, hands in front, take it back, push yourself up. Keep it going, and the run. Good, really experiment with this. Also, if you find push-ups really hard, they are incredibly difficult. You can always do them against a sofa or even against a wall if you need a little bit of height to help you. And you can relax. Okay, the next movement is called Chameleon. It's a lovely stretch, a great way to warm up your body and to focus on strength. So for this, you're in a plank. And from your plank, you're taking yourself back 
So that your knees barely touch the floor, but you're further, you're lower towards the mat. So a plank, and then you're coming back. Okay, if that's really hard, you can be on your knees and you can take it back into like a child's pose and forwards into a kind of push up plank position. Whatever feels good for you. Remember, this is your warm up to get you ready. So, reset the clock, 20 seconds, let's go. So we either have this, the nice stretch in there, taking it back, or for those of you who want to, on your toes, taking it back. Lovely. Two more of those before you get a little rest. And relax for 10. I love that movement. It just feels, it just feels very strengthening. It's a really good foundation movement. Okay, back into position for the last set. So see if you can go a little bit lower this time. Can you get your knees even closer to the mat? But don't touch. Nice. Really plant your um, wrists, your palms into the mat. Three, two, and relax. Beautiful. The last one we're gonna do is a back extension. So for this, you're lying flat on your mat. This kind of strengthens your back, but also your core. So now, we're squeezing our glutes, we're squeezing our heels together from our feet, our hips are on the mat, but our chest is up, and now our thighs are off the mat. Our hands come out kind of like a um, cactus, and we're taking them back and forwards. So it's a really nice squeeze. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer. 20 seconds starts now. Um, out, take it back. Good. Sometimes when you do this, your tummy makes a bit of a fart noise from how you're rocking on the mat. <laughs> Absolutely normal. Squeeze your bum, squeeze your heels together, and relax. Take yourself down, relieve all tension. Then you have one more of these, and then we can move on to the exercise. Okay, three, two, and one. Squeeze. Whenever you do abs, I always recommend that you add in back extension because you want to kind of treat yourself like a rotisserie chicken, <laughs> and look at yourself from all angles. Three, two, and one. Perfect, well done guys. Okay, this is your chance to have a drink if you need to, and then we're gonna move on to the workout. So, the workout is five moves. We're gonna do 40 seconds on with a 20 second rest. So we're gonna do three sets of five movements. So once you've kind of got the first set nailed, you can then use that as your benchmark to up it for the next two, to see whether you can get another rep, to see whether you can get stronger. Um, it's a great little circuit, a mixture of arms and abs. So let me take you through the exercise. The first one is skiers. And for this, we're kneeling. So if it hurts your knees, roll the mat over. So on your knees, I don't want this to be all loose. I want you to squeeze this forward so that we turn all of this on and our hands are up above and we're imagining that we're pushing or throwing a really heavy ball. So it's a powerful move, kind of if you ski, then throwing it through and pushing through each time. So we're really opening up our abductors, our adductors, opening up our core and working our arms. So that is the first movement. The second movement is a commando. We're going to do this on our knees because I want you to focus on your upper body as much as possible. So again, in that position, that push-up position, you're bringing this down. So I really wanna feel that weight here. And then you're going from hands to forearm, to hands to forearm. Keeping this section really nice and low because that's where you're going to turn on the abs. If you want to, you can go onto your toes. It just looks like this. So we're on our toes, keeping everything flat. We're not up here. We're down here. We're coming down and back up. That is the progression. But right now, I'm happy for all of you guys to be on your knees if you'd like to. The next movement we have is the negative push-up. We did in our warm-up. So again, we are here. We're dropping, we're coming down as slowly as you can. We're bringing our arms forward and we're taking it back up. If again, you wanna do it on your toes, 
absolutely perfect. When you do them on your toes, come up into a strong plank, squeeze your glutes, take yourself down, put your arms forward, bring it back and take yourself up. It's hard, but I know you guys can do that. So the next movement is the hands down kick, a fun one. So we're here, don't worry, we're not doing a hands down. And we're gently kicking, kick, kick. Just trying to get your feet to touch your bum, light on the hands, light on the feet, but it's a great one to get your heart rate up, work your core and get you stronger upside down. And the last movement we're gonna do is the crab dips which we all hate. So we're here, hands behind, hips come up, and we are dipping here for the backs of our arms. Trust me, 40 seconds, ouch. <laughs> okay, let's do it. 40 seconds on, 20 seconds up, three times through with me. I'll bring this over. We are starting with our kneeling skiers, and let's go. Arms come up, power through. If you do actually have a ball, a slam ball, or maybe a football that you can throw and catch, perfect. But for a lot of us, we don't, so this is just to get your heart rate up. Squeeze that bum, squeeze your glutes. Excellent, you have another 10 seconds to go. Power. Push guys, three, two, one, beautiful. Okay, the next one we have is a commando. So remember, we're gonna be on our knees for this. We're focusing on keeping it heavy across our hips and going from our forearms to our hands. Forearms to hands, nice big breather. It's nice to have people to work out with. Okay, three, two, get yourself in that position, drop the hips, down onto the forearm, up onto the hands. Good guys, if you don't feel your tummy while you're doing this, I suggest you're probably more like this. There's no tension in your stomach when you do it like that, so make sure you have that drop and then you'll feel it turned on. Halfway. Ten seconds, make sure you've got your hips dropped, keep checking. Three, two, one, perfect. Hopefully you felt that in your core and in your arms. The next one we have is the negative push-ups. Another one of my favorites and a great way to just build up strength. So three, two, one in that push-up position. And let's dive down. Take those arms forward and back. Good. The closer your hands are to the sides of your body, the harder it is. But if any of you do yoga, you do a push-up in your down dog. So you might find this easier than you thought. Halfway. Last one. Perfect. Awesome work. Okay, handstand kick coming up. If you're scared of this, you can simply do hill climbers, but I suggest everyone giving it a go. You're not actually going up into a handstand. If you can, go for it, but otherwise just doing handstand kicks. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Keep it going, remember it's this. If you don't like it, just bring those legs in. I can hear my smoothie rolling around. <laughs> Keep it going, another five. Everything. 
such a killer. Okay, the last movement is your crab dips. So get ready to put those hands behind. Take a nice deep breath. Doing fantastic. This is your first circuit done. Up you come. Let's go. Nice little dips. And while you're doing it, just figure out for you whether hands flat or to the side or behind works best. Remember the, the muscle we're focusing on is this. So if you feel it somewhere else, change the angle of your hands. Over halfway. Keep going. Just little dips. Bums not touching the floor. Three, two, one. First circuit done. Two more to go, guys. So remember, whew, that first movement that we've got, we're gonna get ourselves in position and we're gonna do the kneeling skiers. So keeping your hips in. If you want to, you can do the standing as well. So five, three, two, one. Let's go. Squeeze your bum when you pull this in. Keep going. Last five. Oh, my shoulders burn. I was practicing handstands today. And relax, well done, great work. Okay, the next movement you've got is your commandos, your kneeling commandos. Use this time to breathe. <clears throat> the worst ones for me are the handstand kicks. They tire my legs very quickly. Three, two, and one. Bring it down, and let's go. Halfway. Five more. Relax. Ooh. Coming up is the push ups, the negative ones. Hopefully, you're getting what I mean about the chest. And really feeling the difference between using your chest versus using your back, which is a lot of us. A lot of us use our back instead. So, three, two, and one. Take it down. Arms in the front and arms back. Good, everybody, keep going. Halfway. Rest whenever you need to. It's not a competition with anybody but yourself. So whatever you do this time, if you wanna save this, you can go back in and aim to do more. On your next go, relax, well done. Okay, we have the handstand kicks. It's 40 seconds, so it's a long time. So I recommend pacing yourself with this one and having a number in your head that you'd like to reach. So maybe you wanna do 10, maybe you wanna do 15. Three, two, and one. Hands in front, and let's kick. Five, remember it's this. To those of you who find it really difficult, that's a good one. Or this. I can feel my breakfast. 10 seconds left. 
Can you get another two? Well done, relax. Okay, our last movement, those dips. Oh, yeah, I'm just double checking. I always tend to miss one exercise as the routine goes on. I don't wanna do that to you guys. So we have the dips coming up. Oh, nice big breath, hands behind, and let's go, up, dip. Remember your bum doesn't touch the floor. Halfway, and remember to have your hands facing this way, not the other way so that you're getting your triceps. Where does it hurt? What muscle group are you targeting? Last 10. Five, four, three, two, one. <sighs> breathe, 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 breathe. <sighs> Last one's coming up. You're kneeling skiers. Have I got time for a drink? Last 10. Last time, get yourself into position. Ooh, five seconds. Squeeze your glutes as much as you can. Let's go. This is kind of your chance to shake out the burn <laughs> in your arms. Keep squeezing and put some pressure in those arms. Ten to go. Two, one. Beautiful, well done. We have those commandos next. The last time you've got to do them. Oh, <laughs> cabinet in my way as usual. Ten seconds left. If you're doing this on your toes, then incredible. For those of you who are joining me doing this on your knees, this is all about getting you to understand areas that you need to move. So let's drop our hips and let's go. Keep your hips dropped. Have they done this? Bring them down. Last 10 seconds to go. Next we have our last negative push-ups. Now the more you practice these, the easier you will find actual push-ups because you're working on the hardest bit of tension, which is the bringing down. So you might feel like you're not doing a push-up, but you are, and everyone starts this way. It's the same for pull-ups. So definitely keep practicing these. Okay, so push-up, let's go. Come down, arms, and take it back. And in some way these are actually harder because you have to go all the way from the ground, which you don't generally do in a push-up. So you're working in the hardest phase. Over halfway. Keep going. Good, and relax. Oh, the last hardest bit. Those handstand kicks. Aim for five every 10 seconds. Aim for whatever you can. Two, three. Have a rest every 10 seconds. It's your workout. Remember, you'll only get stronger. And three, two, one. Let's go, and kick. Good, breathe here if you need to. Two, one, go for another five. Two, 
two, one, breathe if you need to, another five. Last 10 seconds, how many can you get? One, two, three, go, the burn. Woo! Oh, that's the hardest one. <laughs> okay, your crab taps, your last movement. Oh. Get yourself in position. 10 seconds to breathe. Trust me, you're gonna feel this in your arms tomorrow. <laughs> Hopefully your abs too. Three, two, one. Let's go. Dips. Put all of your strength into the palm of your hand. Keep that butt squeezed. Remember, don't make your butt touch the floor. Keep it up at least an inch from the ground. Halfway. Push through. Ooh. Keep going. Those last 10. Five. Oh, stop the clock and lay down. Have a breather, good work. Ooh, okay, take your arms out behind you. Take your legs out nice and flat. And just have a couple of breaths here. Okay, take one arm across your body and pull it in with your other arm. Great work guys. Arm workouts often feel the hardest. That's because we don't tend to do too many variations with our upper body. Especially if you're a woman watching this without being stereotypical. For a lot of us we tend to lift. We don't tend to push very often. And it's a movement that's tricky for a lot of us. But if you try this workout maybe once, three times a week, you'll soon notice a huge difference in your strengths. Amazing, so we're gonna roll onto our fronts and we're gonna stretch out our shoulders here. So what I want you to do is take your left hand out flat to the side and I want you to roll your body onto it, taking this foot behind you to find some stability. This hand is pushing your body onto your shoulder. It's a really lovely stretch. Stretches out your glutes, your hips, your shoulders, and your chest, nice. Couple more seconds here, and then roll back over. Other hand under the cabinet, <laughs> roll it over. Using this hand to push, you'll have one side that's far more mobile or flexible than the other. If you feel pain, change the positioning of your shoulder. Lovely guys, well done. Okay, we're just gonna do a back extension. So from here, hands by your shoulders and your chest, and just push yourself up. Okay, we need to keep your hips down, just giving your back a nice bend after being used throughout that workout. Take it down, one more. Take it down, okay, push yourself back up, but this time, we're gonna come to the middle of our mat. Ooh. From here, we're just gonna roll our body down into a wild child. So you're just gonna fold over your knees, hands down by your side, and you're just gonna drop your head and lay wherever it feels comfortable. If you want to grab your heels, you can. If you can get your head on the mat, great. If you're here, Fine, doesn't matter. This is your stretch, your relax, whatever feels good. Just relax your head and your neck. Nice deep breaths, three here. And slowly bring yourself back up. Adjust your hair. 
had a massive well done. Thank you so much to everyone who joined in on this. I love sharing this workout with you guys. If you want to find more, I'm always posting more workouts on YouTube, Carly Arena, or on my Instagram, at least three a week. So come check me out to find more. Thank you for joining. And please let me know whether you enjoyed this one or not. See you guys soon. Bye.